Hello everyone, this is Mr. Moore. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to join a Zoom meeting for the first time. Okay, so this is only for the first time. If you uh, haven't joined any Zoom meetings before on your computer. So before we do anything else, uh, I just want to say that I use Google Chrome. If you use any other uh, web browsers, you may encounter uh, other problems. I do not know. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me or your teacher, uh, and we will try to answer any of those questions. But for this demonstration, I will be using Google Chrome. So first up here, uh, go ahead and log into your email, okay, uh, to get the link, okay. So I have already logged into email. All I need to do is click on my Gmail, okay, and I will click the email that uh, your teacher has sent you or that I have sent you. So click that email. And in your email, you will see uh, the link to join the Zoom meeting, okay, uh, and the time, okay. Uh, so for me, please look under where it says join Zoom meeting. Uh, if you look, uh, if you look at where it says join Zoom meeting, okay, right under that, there is a link in blue, okay, and that is the link to join the Zoom meeting, okay? Uh, one note here, if you uh, if you look right under the, the link, you will see where it says meeting ID and password. Uh, I will not go over that in this video, but go ahead and watch the, the next video. Okay, so let's click the link. Now another window is gonna pop up. Okay, it's gonna ask you to uh, uh, to click uh, to open the Zoom meeting. Nothing's going to pop up because this is the first time that I'm running Zoom. Okay, go ahead and click download and run Zoom. Okay, because nothing's happening, right? So click and download and run Zoom. And if you look down here, because this is Google Chrome, it has downloaded down here, okay, on the bottom right of my screen. Okay, and I'm going to click that to install Zoom. So let's click it. Once I click it, uh, it opens up another window that looks like this and it's installing Zoom onto your computer. So like I said, this is only for the first time. After this time, uh, after the first time that you install Zoom, it, you, won't, you won't need to do this again, okay? And as you can see, uh, once it has installed, it will automatically open up. This means you are in the waiting room and you are waiting for the host or your teacher to let you in. Okay, once the host has let you in, okay, it's going to look like this. The first thing that's going to pop up is if, uh, if you want to join with your computer audio. And I will say yes, please join with computer audio so we can hear you, okay? So let's click that. Okay, and it's gonna look like this. You're not gonna see anything yet, okay? So uh, let's talk about some settings first, okay? Before we join the meeting and start any. If you look at the main screen right here, it has the meeting topic, who is the, the host or your teacher's name, uh, some password and the ID okay so uh, for you do not worry about what is in the middle here okay uh, so let's look at some of the settings that are on the bottom of our screen and that is going to be important all right first let's look at the audio settings and it's the first settings right here on the bottom right of your screen and you'll see this little uh, microphone icon uh, so let me click it and let's see what happens to it. So if I click the microphone icon, you'll see a little red line go across it, right? 
And what that means is that now everybody cannot hear you, okay? And you are mute. Okay, so if you have things going on in your house, if you have noise in your house or wherever you are, okay, and you don't want everybody to hear it, go ahead and uh, click the microphone icon and it will have the little red mark on it. Click it to unmute myself. Uh, if you want to talk, but we can, uh, like everybody can't hear you still, okay, this is what I want you to do. If you look a little bit to the right of the microphone icon, you'll see this little up arrow. Click it, and it will bring up some options, okay? Uh, so up here, you have the microphone option. Uh, make sure that you have a microphone hooked up to your computer. If you are using a laptop, you should have a microphone. Uh, make sure you have selected the correct microphone. Okay, next, let's look at the video setting. Uh, when you first join a meeting, okay, uh, we can't see you, okay, and because when you first join, there will be a little red line across your video, okay. If you want us to see you, you need to click this little video uh, uh, camera, okay, for us to see you, okay. So I have clicked it so that the little red line goes away and you can see me right here okay if we can't see you and you have a webcam and you want us to see you uh, let's go into the options and I will show you what is there okay so in your uh, video right here a little bit to the right of your camera okay there's an up arrow click it and it'll bring up the options for your camera I have a webcam uh, connected to my computer so it is selected right here make sure you have the correct uh, camera selected for us to see you okay now uh, if you look uh, I have a green screen right here it's just a piece of cloth and my wall right here if you don't want uh, everybody to see what is going on in your background uh, go ahead and choose the virtual background Okay, and it's also right here, the little option, the video option, okay. And if you look where it says choose virtual background, go ahead and choose that. And it will bring you to this screen right here. And what you need to do is you need to choose a virtual background, okay. So uh, choose virtual backgrounds right here. If you look a little to the right of it, you'll see a, a plus sign, and it says add image or video, okay? I'm going to click that, and I need to choose add image, okay? And it will bring up uh, uh, the window to choose your uh, picture. I have already downloaded some pictures right here, so let me choose a picture. Okay, so select your picture and then choose open. Okay, once you have chosen your picture and you click open, uh, it will say download smart virtual background package. Okay, uh, go ahead and click download. And we'll wait till it finishes. And it will put the screen in the back. Go ahead and click uh, we'll X out of it. Okay, we'll close that. And as you can see, uh, my video, I have a virtual background. And this is the meeting. If, if everybody is here, uh, you'll see other people. Okay, so let's uh, look at the other options available at the bottom right on your screen. The next option is participants. If you click that button, participants, and if you look to the right hand side, you'll see all the people that are in this meeting. This is a test meeting, so I only have two people. And but uh, you'll see everybody that is in this meeting right here in this area. Okay. Next up is the chat button. 
if you don't have a, a microphone and if you want to talk to us or ask a question uh, go ahead and click the chat button right here and if you look to the right uh, zoom group chat okay this thing will pop up and go down right here make sure you click this area and make sure you can see the little blinker the text uh, blinking cursor okay and you could type something so let's type something and now everybody can see what you have typed next up let's look at share screen okay and this button is uh, is if you want to share your screen you want to show everybody uh, what is happening on your screen most of the time you will not be using this option mostly your teacher uh, will be using this option to show you uh, what is happening uh, so you can follow along next is the record button and this is if you want to record the meeting uh, you do not have to uh, most of the time your teacher will record the meeting uh, but this is to record the meeting if you want to play it and and watch it later okay next is the reaction button this is just to, to click it and you'll see a thumbs up and a clap and if you click it it just shows uh, everybody that you are clapping okay and the last option on here is the leave and it's at the bottom right and when the meeting is over, if you want to leave, go ahead and click leave. Or your teacher will end the meeting and everybody will leave automatically. And that is how you join a Zoom meeting. Hope to see everyone.